Okay, let me illustrate this the best way I can. I'm telling you what, um, in 2020, this is the greatest gift. And this is going to be a, such a theological thing, and it's going to be so simple, I believe. And I, I just want to encourage you that, golly, Christians, in 2020, believe this. In 2021, believe this. And this will bring you so much encouraging. You guys better re- ready to be encouraged? Oh, I'm ready to be encouraged. Okay, here's the first part of the gift. Oh, you see the gift? <laughs> this gift represents you. nothing fancy about it, neither are you, neither am I, I mean, if somebody gave me this, there better be cookies in it, but there's nothing fancy about this, is there, there's nothing special, and ladies and gentlemen, I, if you look at your life, you might be like, there's nothing special about me, there's nothing special about you, but God sees something different, God sees the Ordinary, God sees something in your life that is extraordinary. This right here in this illustration represents you. And maybe before you came to know Jesus, now this is just for Christians. Before Chris, before you became a Christian, would you agree that there was almost a God-sized hole in your heart? There was just something. You don't know what it was. There's just something that was a hole in your life. Nothing Feel it. You tried drugs. You tried women, men. You tried other things. You tried whatever. You were try. You tried fame. You tried poverty. You tried serving. You tried everything, and nothing filled it. Can you agree with that? Okay, because there was something, someone that was supposed to fill the hole in our life, but we chose to fill it up with so much other stuff. So we needed the filling. But before the filling could happen, there had to be a filler. Because for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Sin within its side of itself separates us from the love of God. There had to be a giver of life, a sacrificial gift, and that's where it came in. And we know his name was Jesus. Jesus came to this earth, and he lived a perfect life. But he also gave up his life, red, for the forgiveness of your sins by the shedding of his what? Blood. Blood. So that you and I, when we place our faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and our Savior, we receive this gift. And I love this. I wasn't meant to do this until I opened it up this morning. When you receive the gift of life through his blood, you get new life. Isn't it beautiful that you get to start over again? So what ends up happening is when you put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, now you are in him. Isn't that awesome? But he didn't leave it this way. He sealed you until you had a chance to go to heaven. So now, and how many guys, I'm not going to ask you, but you probably messed up in 2021. You might have sinned yesterday. You might have sinned any other day. Here's the, what's called grace. We just sang a song about grace is enough. Do you see yourself anymore? Do you see you? No, you don't see you. Do you see the silver thing in here? No, but you know it's there. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me clearly. When you say yes to Jesus, and Jesus says yes to you, you are forgiven. The theological word, you're justified, made right. So now when God looks at you and says, man, you lied today. Jesus' blood protects you from the wrath of God. Now pause. This does not give us permission to say, well, I can do whatever I want to do. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. If you have that mindset, you're actually not safe in the first place. Just because you can does not mean you should, but when you do, you can be confident because of the grace of Jesus that the wrath of God is no longer upon you. Isn't that just a Merry Christmas? Because I think in 2020, many of you have done some stupid, faithless things, thoughts. And let me encourage you. There's no condemnation. You've been set free. So start over today by saying, you know what? Yeah, I've been stupid 2020. But as of today, you get to start over and say, you know what? The year's not done. Let me start living in faith for the name of Jesus Christ because I know that he lives in me and through me. 
Oh, but it's so much better. So Jesus says in the passage that I just got finished reading that he was not going to leave us as a what? Orphan. He was going to give us a what? Helper. And the helper is part of the other gift. The helper is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings us joy and peace and patience and, and everything. So watch this. What he does, the whole God is such a loving God. And by the way, the Holy Spirit is not an it, it's a he. The Holy Spirit is fully God. But God's active presence in your life. Because now the Holy Spirit is what? In you. Isn't that awesome? Merry Christmas. But here's the deal. I think many of you forget that. Because the Holy Spirit, along this 2020 journey, has been trying to get a hold of you. And he's been, I'm in here. Listen to me. You're acting not like Jesus today. And what do we do? We're like, shut up. Holy Spirit, it's 2020. We'll talk about it in 2021. Can you relate? But what if we would understand that 2020 has been tough, but 2020 has been a gift of God? Because the Holy Spirit has been trying to teach you some things. The question is, have you been listening? The Holy Spirit is reminding you today that not only is he in you, but you're in Christ. But the story gets better. You ready for some, the conclusion of it? If I can close Jesus up. Okay. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever would believe in him should not perish, but have what? God is with you. This is what we testify about. This is how we live which result in joy and peace. 2020 is just a layup. Church, it's time to get your head out of your butt to realize that it's going to get worse. But we should never forget that God the Father has adopted you as his child. If someone wants to get to my kids, they're going to have to go through me. Nobody will ever do anything to get to my kids. If I'm home, I will die. For the sake of my children. And Jesus already has. Which allows you to understand that God is really with you. He's a good father. And ladies and gentlemen, he will never fail you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So I love you enough to say, enough's enough. Stop living in 2020 and live as a son and a daughter of God through the blood of Jesus Christ, through the conviction of the Holy Spirit. And by doing that, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to prepare yourself to the trials and the tribulations that life will bring. Easier said than done. But this is what you need to visualize every day. And as it says in John, as we just got finished, if you love him, you will obey 